Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I have a Hummingbird card share. This is featuring two of the die sets from BB's Hummingbirds collection. I have been playing a lot with it lately. <laughs> If you guys saw this past weekend, last minute card that I make, this is also with the same Hummingbirds collection. I made this beautiful card. I tell you, watch BB's video. In this one, I decided to really focus on two things. One, I had made this card at the full 5x7. So this is what the full 5x7 is, but I wanted to bring it down a little bit more. I could have gone A2, A2 would have put it here, but what is making the card open is the inside. I also wanted to play with her pop-up hummingbird. You see it? Let me see if I can turn it sideways. There we go. You see the pop-up hummingbird? Oh, love. Interactive goodness. So it's like a gift on the outside and a surprise on the inside. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So on the outside, I have the Hummingbird card creator. This makes a five by seven card. And I didn't put the florals in here. Last time I put the florals, but this time I just wanted to play with a lot of ink blending. This is all Gina K ink again. So I was ink blending, having fun, coming again with that glowing belly. <laughs> this is that key lime. Key Lime Ink from Gina K gives you that yellow kind of colorway. The background though, I did start off, this is hot pink, but it's looking kind of an orangey colorway because I didn't go with white cardstock. I went with yellow cardstock, put the pink on top of it and a little bit of purple. That's for the body. There is that same key lime. And then I did the beak in black. This one I did orange, which I might change. I might just cut another piece and then just glue it on top of this and turn it black. And I just okay. crop the hummingbird down. I have it on this pink card base, which has this great texture detail anyway on the cardstock. So I'm using that to my advantage. And I've also pulled out a favorite stencil of mine lately, <laughs> the hummingbird texture stencil. Right here, I use that portion. On the bottom, I use that portion. So it's two textures from the same stencil. Before I did this, muted in the background on this card and i also showed you in a previous video i did this with the seahorse kisses so different collection but this texture works with anything it's just so fabulous and this inspired this one so i use simon hurley's lunar paste in slippery when wet love this colorway and i think it just works even with the pinks and everything this gold color just flying by to say hello. Hummingbird sentiments stamps. And then on the inside, just flying by to say hello. Friends make the world beautiful. They're right beside each other on the stamp set too. <laughs> yeah. And then I put some gold mixed gems, the solid crystals right here at the bottom by the sentiment. Then you open it up and there's that interactive element. Now comes into the pop-up hummingbird dies. And BB has a two minute video on how to put this together. So go to her channel for a tutorial. She has a longer version and a shorter version. So I watched that and figured out how to put it together. Where I made a mistake, I was trying to glue this at the same time and then it went wrong. So don't do what I did. What you wanna do, <laughs> take your score line, adhere, glue right here on one side, and then put some glue, fold it, and then come down. You'll see her do it. I was trying to put this whole ensemble on at the same time, and it was a mess. You see how here is open? That's why you glue one side first. She'll show you in her video. I don't want to confuse you too much, but long story short, I have a second hummingbird to go. <laughs> see that crumple? That's what I did wrong. I was putting the whole thing flat. So when I closed it, it started to crease like crazy, but I wanted to save it because you can only put this base on after you have assembled this entire thing. You have to assemble the flowers, put it on, and the bird, you see? And on the back, you reinforce it by taking a piece of cardstock with some glue. On this one, I did use score tape and hold everything in place. All these little tabs are held in place. So you make this full assembly first before you glue it down. But don't do what I did. 
had the base open and I was gluing both at the same time. So when I closed it, that started getting all messed up and jacked up. You see it? So I had my inside here, which is an A2 card, four and a quarter, five and a half. So this whole thing is eight and a half inch wide, scored down at four and a quarter inch, and it's five and a half inch tall. So now I can use this on a slim line or something. I saved it because I was like, there's just no way. So there's another card coming from me. I may have to trim this down a little bit more and maybe put it in a slim line. I'm going to do something with it because you know I was having a heart attack. I had to do this again. The whole thing. <laughs> yes, I'm showing you. So don't do what I did, okay? Watch BB's video. Went back in, I watched BB's video. And I'm like, oh, put this side down first, then close the top, and then at the other side. Oh, and I was like, okay. I'm not going to go further into it. Watch her tutorial. Papa Pummingbird. But once it comes together, talk about ooh la la card making wowza for the recipient. Right here, that little strip I am using, actually on both pieces, I did cut this out too. I was going to try to use my trimmer. I never cut sentiments out straight with my trimmer. So I went into the sentiment labels die set and I used this bigger one to cut this. This is on sale too, <laughs> in the spring cleaning warehouse sale, okay? And then I also used it here. This is a smaller one here. And where that little hole is, I just put a little gem there. And it's fine because this whole thing has so much height, a gem can go there. You can go with a flatter one if you wish. Stamp that out and put it there. Isn't that cute? So that's my card with all these wonderful products. And my boo-boo, I had to show you my blooper, but I'm not wasting it. The hummingbirds are out to play along with the textured stencil. Just so much fun. So this is two dies on one card so much fun this is all on a five by seven card base alrighty crafters everything will be detailed and linked below until the next video because more is coming stay crafty my friends bye